Chapaquil and plane crash, 71 dead in terrible crash in Madeleine. Dead include most of Brazil Chapaquins football club, six people survived. Former footballers have alleged they were subjected to years of grooming and sexual abuse. Is this a sign of another civil investigation? Is it just only confined to football? The Liberal Democrat defeat of Zach Goldsmith at Richmond Park. Mr. Goldsmith stood as an independent after leaving the Conservative Party in protest at the government decision to back a third Heathrow runway. Was that a good choice, Mr. Goldsmith? Brexit. We will talk about what impact Brexit is having across the world today. We always talk about Brexit, even in four years' time, two years' time. And we'll talk about Trump as well, because Trump has apparently saved 1,000 jobs from leaving America. And he's not even president yet. What's going on? 30 youths attacked the police in the UK. We will be talking with Shannon Kelly about these issues and more on this week's In Review. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to In Review. And I'm joined on the red chair this time. We're not in Parliament because guess what? It's cold. Everybody's trying to get away from the cold. But I'm joined by Shani Kadit. Shani. Hey, how Sylvan, are how are you doing? Fantastic, Good fantastic. To meet you. Shani Kadit is an educator and you specialize in maths, isn't it? That's right. Definitely. That's We're going right. to talk about that impact about um, maths and young people when we talk about um, the young people um, actually beating up policemen. That yes. is shocking. So we'll, we'll really talk about that shocking, later. Yes. But, um, you know, the, this plane crash in Chapel Kearns, you know, um, where over 71 person died, dead included most of Brazil football club, six people survived. Yeah. I mean, what do you think about that? I mean, the, I mean, this was a plane which apparently they said run out of fuel. Yes, uh, I think it's a catalogue of um, events that took place before that crash mm. happened. Um, what, what I uh, understood was that um, they had an opportunity to refuel at one stage yes. before getting to their destination. And it so happens that after a while, um, when they were coming into land, mm -hmm. that um, <coughs> a plane was given priority over that plane. Yes. And it meant that they had to circle yeah. a few times, um, I think 13 minutes or so. Yeah. And apparently they ran out of fuel. So it, it's looking like it's a tragedy based on you know, the decisions that they made leading up to the crash. And that is the, yeah. at the cockpit tower, whatever, like the yes. control tower. Yeah. Well, I think, um, yeah, uh, it may be the pilots or, or the control making yeah. a decision as to, you know, when they should yeah. land. So I think, you know, it's, it's, it's not just like a tragedy, it's, a, mm. it's the decisions that were made before yes. that. I That's think, very interesting because yeah. I was listening to one of the radio stations and they were talking about, um, um, the, the radio control lady was talking to the captain and the, the, the person, the pilot. Yeah. But what was very in, interesting was what they said is that the plane that got priority, yeah. their level of emergency or whatever wasn't as deep as this particular plane. That's correct. Yeah. But at the same yeah. time, what they said was Mayday call didn't come out, which, was, right. which would sort of trigger everything right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Because what I understood was that as the plane ran out of fuel, um, there was electrical <coughs> fault, mm. which meant that their controls were compromised in some way. So, um, you know, yeah, I mean, again, you, you're just highlighting the yeah. fact that it could be pilot error or yeah. the, 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 the flight crew not following yeah. procedures. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's very sad to hear this, you know, I mean, yeah. um, and as I think today, um, they're having thousands of people in Brazil and football teams yeah. around the world also is wearing black armband. Yeah, but it's very I tragic. think one of the central points, Shani, isn't it that today you are here and tomorrow you are not? Honestly, I think we need to just take a grip and, and mm. you know, it's God, God that gives the grace, mm. you, know, you know, it's God's grace that we're here. Yeah. You know, so we cannot say that tomorrow we'll be here. We, yes. we cannot claim that. You know, when I think, when I, when, I, when I thought about it as well, you know, mm. I, one of the things I thought about was how, it's about mm. counting your blessings, you know, like I was speaking to someone the other day and the person said, they're a suicide, oh, sometimes I'm suicidal or blah, 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 you know. Mm. And I said, have you seen this picture? 
on YouTube where this little boy in Africa was head was down in some dirty water drinking water mm. because okay. that was the water and it was dirty water yeah. and it's about yeah. counting your blessings yeah. and with so much things that are happening in the world but it's like people cherish life as much as possible, you know? That's, that's correct, yeah. 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 Anyhow, mm -hmm. you know, our condolences to the family and everything like that and, um, you know, yeah, and God's peace, you know? Yeah. Now, still on football, as, as we mentioned before, the, the former footballers who have alleged were subject to years of grooming and sexual abuse. Another sign of several investigation. This is big. Um, it's uh, very big. Um, I'm quite shocked by what's you know, what the revelations, um, recent revelations in yeah. football, I mean, it's really, it's massive. I mean, mm. this is bigger than Savile. Yes. You know, because it's more than one coach. And w the same, but what's, what's similar about the mm -hmm. Savile incident is the fact that those people who were coaches were in positions of responsibility and power. And trust, again. And trust. So, um, you know, if, if someone wanted to make the allegations, which I think on occasions a, a few of them did, mm. they were not listened to, you know, either by the the, the officials or um, or the clubs. Yes, you know, they were not listened to. But it's all coming out now. Mm. You know, um, you know, historical child abuse is is uh, you know is terrible. And then at the same time, mm. the government, um, with their the chair, I think about three different chairs have resigned from the, the government inquiry into wow. historical child yes. abuse within government, parliament and all, it's yeah. like an epidemic now. It, it's, it's, very, it's very bad, you know? uh, it's, it's very shocking. Um, yeah, I, I just can't believe it. And as we speak, there's more revelations yes. coming out. And I think there's about 300 mm. uh, children that were but affected I, in that. I yeah, mean, and, and, and I think they said there was an NSPCC land which was specialized, which was yeah. set up and they got so many calls. You know? yeah. But yeah. then the key thing now is this, when parents now, having their children or into football now, when yeah. they go to school now and the fo are they going to be looking at the coaches now and saying, mm, you know, looking at them sleepovers and everything like that now? Yeah. The innocence. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It, yeah. <clears throat> you, you, you have to think as a parent, yes. you have to think twice as to, well, what, you know, where are my children? Yes. And I, can I trust yes. the person who I've left them with, yes. who I you know, put my trust in yeah. to teach them football. No, that, that is know? serious because I, I, my, so. I, my son likes football as well, you know what yeah. I mean? And um, it, it is something which it makes you really think, you know, yeah, as much because exactly. as yeah. sometimes what they say is normally the person who is closest to you sometimes who is the abuser. Exactly, mm. yeah. It's, it's shocking. <laughs> so this, this might it's be something shocking. which is yeah. bigger yeah. <clears throat> than Savile. Yeah. And of course, what they said again, it's not just in football. Apparently it's going to stretch in tennis, in swimming in the whole shabang. Wow, um, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what that. they said. They're looking yeah. at it for any time, yeah. wherever there is vulnerability and young children, children. also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Now, the, the, the big news of the, the week recently was Zach Goldsmith okay. um, yeah. losing his seat in Richmond to the Lib Dems. Um, Zach, of course, reason for actually triggering the by-election is because he's a man of principle. Okay. Now, if yeah. he's a man of principle and stood his ground because of what he believed in and what he promised, mm. and he lost, and Nick Clegg, who actually went back on his word, and he also lost. So what is this saying? Where's the ground? Is it that, <laughs> is that there's no more principle, it's just about winning? Yeah, it, it's, this, this topic is a really tricky one. Yeah. Um, because in his mind, he has one reason um, for triggering that by-election, yes. the, the Heathrow um, decision, which I think is very bizarre, mm -hmm. to lose your political position based on that, mm -hmm. or to make a promise saying, well, if I don't get my way, yeah. then, you know... I'm going I'm to go, take the highway. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take That's the like highway. That's like a don't take my way, I'm going to take the yeah, highway. <laughs> I, think it's, uh, I think it's very... Um, I don't know. <coughs> Perhaps someone in his position, he has other ways of, of living his life, mm. um, but you know, to, to use that as an excuse, I think yeah. is, I don't know, it, it's very questionable. But, but at the same time, mm. what, what, what some of the punters or some of the observers are saying is that the 
after the mayoral election, yes. where he lost, and because of the way of his campaign, which with a racist undertone, yes. it's like I persons understand. weren't so happy. Yes, okay, so yeah. See, so, um, it, <laughs> yeah, so it, it's very, um, you, can, you can see how people, how people can respond to yeah. someone um, and use another excuse to, you know, because so, in, in his position now, he's not in, he's not in, in, in politics now. Yeah. So it, it's, it's of his own doing. Yes, you know, that's yeah. What I'm saying. So, the, the other yeah. side of the coin, though, um, I, 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 looking at Zach Goldsmith's face, and I, sometimes it makes you wonder if he just wanted to just get out to use us of it. <laughs> frustrating the whole thing and I it's, mean it seems like that he's got a trust yeah. fund of oh, on, on hundreds of millions of pounds with one million he gets a year you know? I am not surprised with a name like Goldsmith <laughs> Go, <laughs> Gold, Gold Smith, you know so <laughs> you know, so so um in a way yeah. he, he, he wasn't so keen you know anyhow yeah. I'm sure Zach will be all right. Yeah, <laughs> we sure don't want to waste the word yeah, time on I'm Zach, sure. you know. Sure. But the, the Lib Dems at the same time, they are saying yeah. it was a referendum on Brexit, as we're going to touch on the Brexit next, okay. you know. Yeah. We're on to Brexit now, and mm. the Lib, Lib Dems is saying that campaign or that election was mm -hmm. a referendum on Brexit and saying that we want to have another referendum. It could be because, you know, with Jack's, uh, Zach, sorry, Zach Goldsmith's mm. position, you know, he was a, a, a lever, so, yeah. and his constituents are Remainers. Remainers, yeah. So, obviously, <laughs> you know, they're going to take a view on, you know, they're not even thinking about Heathrow, they're thinking about maybe, as you say, Brexit, yeah. Yeah. and wanting to get someone who represents their views on Brexit. Yeah. So. That, you know, that, 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 that's it's, so, it's very that's, tricky. Yeah, that, that's so interesting yeah. as well. And I don't know the viewers think, but mm. there's another side of the coin as well is that people are saying that with the, the whole Brexit factor there, mm. um, because the margin that she won wasn't that great, yeah. they're saying, should, they, should Zach then seek to trigger another okay. election? Since, then, since, <laughs> since, since, since yeah. people wanting um, another yeah. referendum yeah. because of... Um, the, the, the thin margin of 48 and 52. 48, 52. Yeah. But is, I, I question that, that, um, that notion, really. I mean, 48 to 52, is mm. that close? Because remember, it's a binary vote, isn't it? Yeah. It's either yes or no. <coughs> either yes or no, yeah. So it's, it's, it's half and half. Mm. So like that, that translated to about 2 million. Well, yeah. It was, it, well, it was one was 17 points, something, one was over, I think, yeah. 15 or 16 so, million, yeah. When people say it was close, I don't really think it was close. Yeah. Based on the fact that it was a binary vote, either yeah. yes or no. Well, in, and, in, and in the fact that Zach took the position that he's going to resign yeah. based on Heathrow, and if you compare that with Cameron saying, um, okay, giving the British public the vote, yes. and then taking the side of the Remain, and then I remember one time when he was, was, quest, was questioned on that, mm. um, uh, what, what if the people vote? To leave, yes. and he had no response. Yes. So you can't assume so there, was, there was no plan. That, plan yeah, there was it. no plan to to take us out of out of um, mm. the EU. You know, yeah. so because they felt that they would have won it. So is Brexit Brexit? It, Brexit? It, it, yeah, I mean, because it's the first time it's been done. You do vote Brexit. I did. Oh, you did? I did Oh, my Brexit. days. This I guy did. is brave, man. I oh, did. you're going to have to get security uh, guards to get to your computer, man. <laughs> you know, walking down the street, man. I mean, people are brave. Man. You know? Did I vote Brexit? Um, I think most people know what I voted for. Already. I won't say it to you now. You all know me. <laughs> um, and I think, um, you know, I think now we just need to go through the motions to, mm. to get it done. Because, I mean, it's, it's a unique position for us mm. in a sense that we now need to define how we want to be, how we want to run our, our country, yeah, you know, yeah. so without the, you know, the strings of, of So you are of, taking of it from a, you are taking it from a nationalistic point of view and... I, I, I would say so, I mean, um, I think immigration in the way that it is, is unsustainable in the sense mm. that um, the way the British society is set up, yeah. the way the um, services are set up. Yeah. So um, it has to be, there has to be some checks and balances, mm. which at the moment, you know, is not, is not it, it, in terms of the people. Yes. Because it's the people that actually feel it. Yes, yes. You know, like, you know, with respects to schools, with respects to hospitals, mm. uh, with respects to um, jobs. Yes. You know, they feel that the, 
not taking the, the borders need to be you know something regulated needs to be done a bit more. regulated yeah. with the borders I, I think so. I think uh, this leads me on to Trump because what, what mm. people are saying a lot is that they are not allowed or not given the 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 opportunity to share their concerns whether yeah. whatever their concerns are they don't feel that they're listened Listen to. to that if they that say is. something they're going to be shut down like I said a while ago to you yes you vote Brexit they're going to they're going to Take you, I've got to get security. Go. Why? <laughs> why people are not allowed to share different views? And it's and, and it's yeah. with Trump. That's why yeah. you got the rise of the Trump. You got the rise of Fion yeah. in in France. You yeah. know, Hollow, ho, um, the, the French president. He's saying yeah. he's going to step down because he you knows he's dead man walking. Mm -hmm. Merkel yeah. is also dead woman walking in the figurative yeah. sense yeah. because they, it, it's a shift, a dynamism a shift. Yeah, I think it, I think in life generally there are cycles. Mm. Um, and you know, and it, it shows the power of democracy yes. because there's always that. It shows this balance yeah. in in the way things are done. Yes. Um, you know, for instance, during the Bush era, you know, <coughs> now after the tragedies, 9/11, so yes. then came in, then came Barack, yeah. and then with Barack, you know, he has a lot of liberal views. Yes. yes. Um, now you have to think like America is a Christian nation. Yes. A lot of people don't, don't want to talk about Christians. Yeah, yeah. And, and, the, and, and, the C word is like a yeah. cursed word. And that's why Trump was saying, Trump yeah. was saying that uh, there are certain particular laws that that is discriminate against Christians. Exactly. And he said he's going to have to stop that and yes. and uh, <laughs> make America great again. You know. Yeah. But you know, but Trump is uh, that is something which is happening. Um, yeah. They're talking about the recount as well. I think they did a recount recently, and Hillary got two. Majority. <laughs> I mean, what's what's the point? I, I mean, I the don't... college system was was based on the fact that not <coughs> many people can vote in just one state. Yeah, and, and control that, everything. And that like state, California, for argument. Yeah, say. exactly. And I think most of her votes came from California. Yes. So a lot of people are saying, "Oh, she won the popular vote." So what? Yeah. You know, the college system was designed mm. for it's fairness. Solid. Is is to address that that thing. So. Well, um, Trump, well, Trump said that um, yeah. he got the popular votes when he take away all the, <laughs> the, 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 the fake votes or the fraud votes. The, the, thing is, the thing is, if Hillary, if Hillary had won with the college system, yes. no one would be talking about recounts yes, and, and yes. stuff like that. They would have yes. said, oh, yeah, we expected that mm. to happen. Yeah. So, um, you know, he won fair and square. OK, well, finally, yeah. Um, yeah. one thing I wanted to talk to you about was yeah. um, the 30 youths who attacked the police in the UK recently. Yeah. I think it was in South London, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes. Um, Shani, as, as an educator, I mean, how can 30 young people actually, you know, attack a police? I, I think um, that is very... Um, it stems from a lack of respect for authority. Mm -hmm. um, and if those children involved had a sort of background of doing that, mm. um, then, you know, they can feel emboldened or yes. empowered to, to use that attitude to people of authority, mm. such as the police, which I think is, is terrible. Um, you know, I think um, as black children, we need to be very careful as well, because mm. um, with police, you know, anything, you know, happens with police, you know, it, it's very easy for for them to be mistreated mm -hmm. so even as children i think um you know that's a terrible precedent for them mm -hmm. to do that and the, <coughs> the fact that there's a yeah. group of them doing that tell me tell, is, me tell me what you do um um Shani, what, what what you as an educator especially yeah. in maths yeah tell, tell us about what you do yeah okay well i i teach mathematics mm. um at gcse and a level and i also do the 11 plus mm. And you know, I I I also do um, private private maths mm -hmm. tuition lessons. That's um, a blue arrow. Called? Sorry, what's your company called? Oh, my company is called um, Blue Tablet Learning. Blue Tablet Learning. Yeah. Yes, it was founded in 2012, and I've really sort of um, started like pushing it uh, yeah. more um, because I could see that uh, with especially mathematics. Yes. Mathematics is is an essential subject. Mm -hmm because it's, it's non, how can I say, the language of maths is spoken universally. Yes. You know, so um, it's very important that our children understand mathematics so and yeah. learn how to use mathematics. Yeah. So tell me now, with young kids, yeah. how can maths be used as a way to create a discipline factor? 
Okay. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, when it comes to do with maths it's, and uh, black people, it, you have to think of what the education system is for. Mm -hmm. It is to enable you to, uh, is to inform you, to train you, to teach you how mm -hmm. to go out there mm -hmm. to earn for yourself. So with maths, um, a lot of youth need to understand number. Yes. Yeah? They need to understand number. That's the first step. They need to understand numbers so that they can relate to how to calculate things. Yes. Yeah. The next step is algebra, where they need to understand about unknowns. Mm -hmm. And in that unknown, they can, rep they can replace that unknown with anything that mm -hmm. they're trying to find out. Mm -hmm. um, the third step is to do with data, mm -hmm. how do you look at things. <coughs> Yeah. A lot of what's happened in, in that particular area, in Deptford, Lewisham, mm -hmm. Lewisham has the highest population of black and Caribbean um, people, 34%. Mm -hmm. yeah? So what I feel may have happened, maybe they may feel a bit disenfranchised. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they feel that police are more, giving them more special mm -hmm. Attention. Yeah. So they, so they come so, together so as they one voice. So they come together as a voice. Yeah. So they're speaking as a collective. Mm. A lot of the postcode wars is based on having ownership of something. They don't feel that yes. they own something. Yes. So they use the postcode as a means of ownership. Like, these are my boundaries. Yes. It's like tribes in, in ancient Africa. Right, you right. know, they, they, have, they control a <coughs> certain area. Yeah. That's, that's the way. But it shows that they're unified, but they're using it in the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, Shani, we, this is, this is, I think we'll have to yeah. get you on the show on a special occasion for, to, to really dissect what sure. you're actually saying. Sure. But how can people get hold of you and um, those who want to um, get trained with their young people into maths? Yeah, sure. Um, you can look at my website, mm. uh, bluetabletlearning.co.uk. Okay. You can contact me. Um, I don't have a free phone, but yeah. you can contact me on, on 07763 mm. 841335. Yes. Or if you want to know more information, you can um, email me on info at bluetabletlearning.co.uk. Yes. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you, Shani. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on In Review. And of course, we're going to come back at another time with Shani to talk about how we can use maths and education, which is crucial to actually discipline and to empower our young youths for the future. Thank you very much for joining us on In Review. Hi, my name is Shani. I've just been on In Review. Um, please subscribe and like The Silburn Show. Please like and subscribe to Silburn TV.